You definitely know dachshunds, but what about an alpine dachsbracke, a similar hunting dog breed with broader head and chest, which this video will be all about. Quick quiz before the video, what famous ruler loved alpine dogs brackets? A. Rudolf of Habsburg, B. Maria Theresa or C. Matthias Corvinus? Watch the video and find out the correct answer. The Alpine Dachsbracke has short legs and thick body. Overall, it's a sturdy and robust dog. I would say that he's not only similar to the Dachshund, but also to the Basset Hound. He kind of looks like a crossbreed between those two, with his hanging ears and very long body. Ideal height of this breed, according to the FCA breed standards, is between 36 to 38 centimeters. Weight-wise, this is a big and sturdy dog for its height. It's said to weigh around 33 to 40 pounds, with male generally being bigger than female. This is a double-coated dog and the coat of the Alpine Dachsbrecke consists of top thick layer with close fitting undercoat that covers the entire body. The most common color is dark red. There can also be some light black hairs. You can also find Alpine Dachsbrackes in black with red-brown markings on the head, chest, legs, feet and underside of tail. This dog was bred to track wounded deer and they were bred to do this in high altitude and harsh terrain, which makes them pretty tough breed. They enjoy hanging out with other dogs and they make a good companion. But even today, when most other breeds are bred as companions, Alpine Dogs Brake is still primarily kept by hunters. It has a fearless, friendly and intelligent personality. Most Alpine Dachsbrackes are excellent with kids and they are good with other dogs or other pets, but I would never leave an Alpine Dachsbrackie unsupervised with other small pet in your house because they have strong prey drive, well, just like any other hunting dog. If you give Alpine dogs a good amount of exercise, they can adapt to apartment life. But if they feel bored, they may destroy shoes or other possessions as a form of entertainment. As you may expect from a hunting breed, an alpine Dachsbrake is a very intelligent dog which makes them highly trainable, but you should keep your eye on their independent tendencies. The famous Rudolf of Habsburg loved the Alpine Dachsbrake breed and in 1881 and 1885 he includes an alpine Dachsbrake on his hunting trips to the Turkey and to the Egypt. Already in ancient times there was a breed that had remarkable similarities in their appearance with an alpine dachsbrake. As you can probably guess there is some dachshund blood in alpine dachsbrake. They were developed by crossing dachshund with larger Austrian breeds. This breed was a favorite among Austrian nobles known for its versatile abilities to hunt deer as well as fox, boar, hares and more. The Alpine Erzgebirgs Dachsbrake was recognized as the first sandhound breed by important canine organizations in 1932 and in 1975 the name was changed to Alpenländische Dachsbrake and the FCA declared Austria as the country of origin. Usually pretty healthy breed, the Alpine Dachsbrake is prone to back issues due to their long spine and they can suffer from hip dysplasia if they gain too much weight. The average lifespan of the Alpine Dachsbrake is around 12 years. The Alpine Dachsbrake is prone to obesity. The breed was bred to work hard over difficult terrain and it's almost impossible to give them this physical exercise when they are kept as companion pets, which can lead to gaining a lot of weight. The grooming is very easy and minimal because they have short and smooth coat. You can brush their coat from time to time to remove the dead hair and you should definitely check their ears regularly for possible infections. The Alpine Dachsbrook is a lively and hard-working breed that is born to hunt. As such, these dogs have fairly high energy levels and high needs for exercise. With their short legs, you may not expect this breed to achieve great speeds, but the Alpine Dachsbrook is a surprisingly fast runner with excellent stamina. Tell me in comments what is your experience with the Alpine Dogs Bracket Breed and if you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check out Facebook and Instagram, links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.